Time now for a look at your health. And researchers say they have a major breakthrough on their hands when it comes to the fight against skin cancer. They found an experimental drug that significantly improves survival for some people with melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. The drug reportedly works by helping the immune system fight tumors. The FDA promises a quick review. Doctors think the drug could be available by the end of this year. Now, for hundreds of thousands of Americans every year, it is the solution to this ongoing health care debate traveling thousands of miles overseas for medical treatment, something called medical tourism. Well, Planet Hospital and the president of Planet Hospital, Rudy Rupak, joins us now. His organization helps makes a lot of these surgeries abroad happen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for welcoming me. Oh, uh, well. You bet. And we've seen a shift when it comes to medical tourism. We used to be the destination, and now you say millions of people are now going elsewhere. Why? Well, they're going elsewhere because it's affordable. The quality is of excellent quality. The care is innovative. There are solutions and medical treatments that are invented in America, but not quite approved yet in mm -hmm. America, that are being done uh, elsewhere. So it's almost a way to expedite some of these treatments that are in flux here? Correct. Plus, for those who don't have insurance and they can't afford the care here, they're going abroad. So is this a direct byproduct, then, of our health care system? It is an indirect byproduct. Uh, it's not just because of the fact that most of the people that are utilizing medical tourism from America are either uh, are described as too wealthy for Medicaid mm -hmm. and too young for Medicare. They're falling into a gap that, uh, unfortunately, that insurance companies aren't covering at the moment. So how does health care reform change that? Well, health care reform is going to be interesting because it's saying that everybody must get health care, but uh, it's not saying at what price. So insurance companies will have to charge heavy premiums to uh, people that they once would never even cover in the first place. So there's no adverse selection anymore. But consequently, <coughs> people would be uh, seeing uh, premiums as high as you know, in the thousands of dollars of uh, ranges. Or they could be given the option of going abroad for the care, or they could have lower deductibles if they go abroad. Well, tell me, um, what does Planet Hospital directly do for these patients who are thinking about doing this? Well, we're like the admissions desk to the best and most innovative and affordable doctors from around the world. So we take care of everything from helping you uh, find the doctors that are right for the surgery that you want to sending you to the uh, right destinations. We take care of all the... Travel logistics. So you do the leg work. Do you also do the homework and research and yes. make sure these are, are good physicians? Abroad? Absolutely. I've personally visited every single hospital and doctor that we recommend. We've also had doctors in our network who do that for us as well. Uh, we provide uh, insurance uh, products to protect them from any uh, you know bad outcomes. Uh, so we protect them in all that aspects of it. Plus, get them the care that they need and follow up care once they come home. And millions of people are doing this. What kind of surgeries are they getting? It's not cosmetic. These Are, are these life-saving surgeries? In some cases, yes. We've helped people with heart surgeries. We've helped people with lung surgeries, uh, uh, kidney and liver transplants. Uh, we've done a lot of these type of uh, procedures. There's also experimental treatments such as stem cell uh, therapies mm -hmm. for people who have lost all hope in any kind of uh, treatments. Uh, proton beam uh, therapies is another example. Well, um, President of Planet Hospital, uh, Rudy Rupak, thank you very much for your thank time you. today. And uh, it's a very interesting concept of medical tourism. And, Walter, for those people who maybe aren't satisfied with the care they're getting here or don't want to wait on studies or something like that, this might be a very viable alternative. Excellent. And I'm sure we have more information on our website, foxbysandiego.com. Thanks, Kathleen. Well, coming